Wow. <laughs> Let's thank God for everything. Let's praise God for what He has been doing in our life because without Him, we can't do anything. My name is Ken Doja Adesamuel. I'm the CEO of the Fertility Scientist at Abim's Unique Medical Laboratory Services, number 37, Akin Street, Anifoshe. What we want to discuss this evening is what I call spam leakages. You know, I've seen spam leakages, can spam leakage can it cause infertility. That is, spam is coming out from a woman's vagina after sex, can it cause infertility. This is what I want us to discuss this evening. Let's start by what is spam leakages. Spam leakages is when a man and the wife have sexual intercourse and uh, maybe at times as soon as the wife stands up the sperm starts dripping down from the body some the sperm will start coming down maybe after a few hours we see how these two by some will say the sperm coming out the following day they just see something coming down from their body but i want to tell us this evening that uh, three things can cause uh, sperm leakage and I'm going to explain to us the way we will understand very well. Let's say the way all of you will understand uh, our body. Let me say our body. I want you to know this night that the vagina has length. Penis has length. During sexual intercourse, when the penis has not transferred the whole length of the vagina and the man deposits sperm, at the middle of the vagina, there is a tendency that that sperm will flow back. That is one reason. Hope you are getting me. Vagina has length. Penis has length. So, if a man penis is has not accommodated has not accommodated the whole length of the vagina, I am telling you, if a man release at the middle of the vagina. As soon as the man is coming out, withdraw his penis, the sperm will flow back. And let me tell you this. Majority of us, the sex, sex position that we are used to is missionary sex position, which is, which is how to do it. A woman lying down, a woman on top. And I can tell us today that uh, if a penis of a man is not as long as the vagina of that woman, of his wife, unless the wife is not as robust as expected, then there's a tendency that the penis, the vagina, the sperm will start coming out after the sexual intercourse. What do we do? What we could do is if you find out that the sperm is coming out from your body after sexual intercourse with your husband, what you do is very simple. It's either you change the sexual position that your people are using, and or you raise your back with the pillow, and when your husband wants to release in you, you have to raise your leg up. By so doing, then, the 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 body of the vag the body of the vagina will have been pushed out so that it can a man can get access to the end of the vagina. Number two is you can change your sexual position by having sex at 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 that back. That means you use a dog's a doggy's type sexual position. The study has shown that. When a woman is having sex on the back, the, the, the length, the, the distance of the surface to the back is very short. Even I used to tell people that no matter how small the penis is, if a man has sex from the back, then it will still get to the mouth of the surface or gain to the end of the vagina. So one thing you do is, is that you change the sexual position you are, you are, you are, do, you are using or you raise you, a woman raise his back with pillow, and when the husband wanted to wants to release, then he opens his leg wide and allow the husband to have access to her body by raising up her leg. The third one is the sperm may be watery. If the sperm is watery, then the sperm will flow back. But I, I, I may have found out that. Majority of people that is complaining that uh, the sperm used to flow back from the from their body 
I think it is the sexual position that has that they have a problem with the sexual sex sexual position. So that's what we need to do. Then whether the sex whether the spine leakage is causing fertility or not, let me clear your mind this this evening. This cannot cause infertility. It's not possible. Because as soon as a small drops of semen, a good quality semen with a good man can touch it to the mat of your cervix, you are good to go to get pregnant. You don't need the whole volume to get pregnant, even if you know. Because what you needed to get pregnant, the volume of semen you need to get pregnant is very small. So even if a good drop of semen drop to your cervix, and that sperm is very good in motility and quality, then you should be able to get pregnant if there's no any other factor. So whether even if your audio is, even if a large volume flows out, yes, so far few volume get into the cervix, you can still be pregnant. So sperm leakages cannot cause infertility. So if you have any question, you can put it at the comment section. I will see it at one side. If you want me to maybe explain the result to you or you have a question, my number is 0023026235. You can WhatsApp your result to me for you to have a second. You want me to explain the result to you. Maybe if you want to have a second opinion on the result in your hand concerning your maybe your fertility test, you can come down to Abim Sunik. So I come your way next time. My name is Ken Dujadi Samuel. Bye.